Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, do I have something on my face? The hell? How dare you? Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's stream where we are going to try yet another game. I'm actually not sure if this is only like the demo prologue because the description of the key didn't actually say. But we're going to try this new game. And I'm, before we jump into the game, I'm going to read you the thing that it comes up on the Steam because I have no idea what this game is about. So we know that it is a unique story adventure. The collision of work and daily life, an exciting reflection of an unhealthy system. Experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world and uncover the darkest secrets of Porcupine and its residents. So Porcupine, I guess it's the name of the town or city. So we are going to guide young Finley through his first weeks at a provi provincial hospital. He is on fire for his apprenticeship as an internist. That sounds weird. <laughs> but a lot of pressure makes Finley's life difficult and our gameplay challenging. So what I know about this game is like it's a story game where... Every decision you make is going to affect how the game goes. And I find it very interesting. And I think it's going to be a very wholesome game. And I was, I was very interested about this game. And that's why I chose it. Hi, hi. Hi, why, why? Why are you sending a lot of pigs? They show on the stream. Why would you do that? Anyway, let, let's begin. Okay. You okay? Oh wait, I need I need to do one more thing. I should have done this before, but I forgot. Stream is yours now. No. Okay. So yesterday this didn't go super amazingly, and I actually didn't check the final footage of the yesterday's demo. But my microphone was doing a lot of weird noises. Is my microphone sounding okay today? I hope it is. And I hope in the recording it sounds okay. Actually, I'm going to change just one thing. I don't, I don't know if it affects everything here. Just going to... Let's see, filters. I can't remember what I had here. Where's the game? There's it. So OBS crashed is always a good thing. Okay. Everything's fine. We're back. Everything is fine. Oh, I think this may be why it was breaking. So whatever. Yes, I have returned. Everything's fine. Okay, so today we're playing with mouse and keyboard, which is something I'm I don't usually do. I press E or enter. Okay. Ooh. Let me see. Just um Whoa, that's a lot of stuff for accessibility. That's really nice. Vibration on, but I'm playing whatever. Okay, can I do 
I cannot change that. Okay, it's only on and off, and that doesn't help me. You know, I, I wanted to do that. What is it? The oh shit, is it lagging? It was lagging a little bit, wasn't it? I need a better computer. Um, I wanted to do the window full screen. You know what I mean? The, the one that I, if I alt tab, it's still there on full screen. Okay, let's, let's just see how it goes. If it lags, I'll try to lower something. But my fans were on the minimum and I increased and sometimes it makes the difference. So over here, over here, or where? Where's my cursor? Um, okay, my cursor disappeared. Oh, now it's here. Wait, what? Oh, it disappears when I come to... That is weird. Okay, I'm just going to read over there on the corner. It says, welcome to Porcupine. Dear player, we are super grateful that you bought a very... First game, a fall of porcupine. Oh, it's the first game of like the, what do you call it? The, the development, the game company. Uh, we sincerely hope if you can give, if the, oh my God. We sincerely hope it can give you even a little bit of the joy and excitement that interacting with all. Yeah, I cannot scroll because, oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know where the cursor is. Okay. That interacting with all of you has given us from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. So if you guys want to check out this game in the description of the stream, you can click the link and it will take you to the page of the game. It's only the first pig of the many they have. Wait, what? Okay, new game. Ooh. I'm loving the leaves. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting your family, friends, or professional for support. Damn, is this going to be like, you know, very aggressive? It looks like such a cute game. Look at him, he's so cute. What the hell? Game will be fine for sure. I'm not worried. Why would I be worried? Okay, we're waking up. Look at those bright eyes. What the hell? Are we supposed to move? Oh, I have the, the worst keyword for this ever, but sure. Let me just try to change. I have like a, a very, very mini keyboard. Let me show you. So the arrows are here. My arrows are over here. I don't have arrows. I don't have a numpad. So <laughs> this is... This is why I don't play PC games. I, I don't even have a good keyboard. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I chose to go left. Let's go right. Is there a light switch or something? Can we jump? Nope. Oh. Oh, damn. We just came out from the darkness to green. I have a weird keyboard confirmed. I do. Oh. The flower. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. What do you mean? How do I continue now? Hello? Okay. Let me, let me try to press E. Oh, E works. Okay, E. Okay. He's still sleeping. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I, 
I wasn't expecting to run into my house plant here. Yeah, because you're not in the house. Who were you expecting? You're watching my scene, perhaps, Lamal. By the way, we need to talk about her. The way your pot vibrates when you set her to spin. That's why you don't put anything on your washing machines. No, I, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Yes, I love when I'm looking for something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. Yeah, maybe he has ADHD. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Oh, no. Well, if you don't remember what it is, it couldn't have been that important. Maybe it is. And maybe he has ADHD and he can't remember. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> I'm sure you, it can wait, buddy. You think so? No. Of course. Come on. Relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. Sounds like a nightmare. How can you worry when you see that? It's too calm. I, I can't. I get stressed. Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music. Though. Yeah, I don't hear any. Do you guys hear any music? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Is he going to get a boombox or something? Oh. Okay. There, there, there is a light music. Can you guys hear the light music? Yes, I like this. Oh, he likes the music. Cool. What the hell is that? Coolamundo? Who is this game targeting? Just let your leaves stay. It doesn't have leaves. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. That is true. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, you know. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Oi. What is that? Is there another plant or is it the same plant? Well, uh, hello there, buddy. We meet again. It's the same one. Okay, just making sure. How goes the relaxation? I just walked from there to here. I mean... It did you find the person you were looking for? Wait, were we looking for a person? Not a thing? It's going quite well. It's really nice here. Wait, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? It's, yeah, that, that was my question. What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? Hmm, is it? We're all having a great time. Am I right? So, what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. That's a great name. We went to university. Oh my god, plants go to university. That's so cool. He's, he's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got... A, what, a, what is a feat? A feat? A f what the hell is that? Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. My dog is barking. What the hell is how? How is he doing that? See, no problem at all. How? How did he do that? No problem. The whole ground was shaking. Hugo is quite ticklish. Oh my god, poor Hugo. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. I will try. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? He gets very sad. <laughs> space. Oh, okay. We jump on space. We jump, we jump on space. Woo! Well? 
Okay. Whee! Nice. Okay, nice. There you go. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. Oh, look. Is, is our friend gonna be here? I thought he couldn't climb on Hugo anymore. Nope. Oh, look at the sun. The sun is bright. We can't go there. What the hell? Oh, wait. Never mind. That was why you need a vibration from when you go take. Yeah, but uh, I think when when they send me the 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 key for this particular version of the game, they said that controller was not like at one hundred percent. That's why I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. I mean, just keyboard at the moment. Hello, Finstar, up here. Oh. How did you get all the way up there? I thought you couldn't climb this dude. Plant. I'm a plant of many talents. I love I like the wiggly things on the the balloons, the speech balloons. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What the hell was the other solution? What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water. Ooh, what water? <laughs> Is there water? I thought we were going to just chill. That's too boring. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is. Yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. That sounds like a great plan. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken? <gasps> Chicken? Don't call him a chicken. Can I just jump from here? Will I? Whoa! We're fine. We're fine. Look. Oh. Can we just walk on the water? Are we not gonna drown? Oh my god, the plant is here again! What What the hell is this way of walking? He's just like... That's very weird. You made it after all! You know... Me, I never pass up on a good time. Are you all right? I'm going to catch a cold. Oh my god. How do plants catch a cold? And you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for from me. Do Jesus. The water is lovely. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not what he said, but okay. No, I don't like water. So, you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. <laughs> I like it. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. <laughs> Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right, all right. Go, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, what is that? Is that a statue? Isn't that the statue from the town square? What the fuck? Why is it here? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? Do statues talk? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude, right? So rude, this, this statue. <laughs> the moment where, where statues can be rude. And we're out of the water. And we're actually walking. It's a beach. Oh, here's the plant again. The Finmeister, there you are. What took you so long? <laughs> You're looking better again. Hey, can... No, wait. Who can be down when you're down at the beach? The, damn, that was hard to read. That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photos photosynthesis i don't like that word there's nothing like it man i just can't get enough i forget everything around me who are you again limo finley you live with me peanut gave you to me wait there's a peanut you're from her flower shop i need to take a picture Finley, funly, dingly, dongly. It's all the same to me right now. 
Oh yeah, this place seems kind of familiar. Does it? Have you have you been to the peak before? Have you? Well, pff, that's exactly what she asked. Maybe, but not like this in a dream. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you were looking for yet? No, the statue wouldn't talk to me. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. <gasps> so the plant was right. Well, congratulations. You found someone. You're a very best flower buddy. Yeah, but that's not who I was looking for. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. All right, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. And this plant is amazing. Do you like this plant? Oh, look. They squiggle. Oh, they don't squiggle anymore. Oh, look. It says porcupine right there. Wee. Can I? No. How do I? What? Maybe I have to jump on the first, on the first thing. Yeah, there you go. Is that a, a jumpy balloon thingy? Can I climb this? There's supposed to be something here. Da, 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 da. I can almost fly. Look at that. Maybe we can go inside this somehow. Can we go inside this somehow? No? Blind? What do you mean blind? Should we... Should we go back or something? I'm confused. Oh, we did something. How is that any different from the other times I tried to jump on that thing? Oh my god, we're on the clouds. That's so cool. Those are cloud chairs. What is that? Is that supposed to be a plant? A fountain, maybe? Oh, who are you? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Does she live here? Do you happen to know where where Mr. Arn, Ar, Arndis? Jesus, what, how do I read that? Mr. Arndis, I was looking for Mr. Arn. Oh, no, I don't like that name. Remove that game. R remove that from the game, please. He's a patient of ours. A patient? And he's disappeared. I was taking the elevator and, and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndis. Our, our, Jesus, no. Otherwise, something might happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I got a feeling that something happened to Mr. Patient. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. Yo, we remembered who we, who, who we were looking for. How do we find him, though? Are we, like, dreaming or something? Oh, the elevator. We're going up. Above the clouds? Dun, 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 dun. What the hell? What is this? Some kind of magic? Where are we now? He has to be somewhere. Hello? Mr. Patient, can you hear me? Hello? There's nothing here. Hello? Is he in the bathroom? Can we go there? No. 501. 502. Whee! Whoop. 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 Where is this dude? Oh, wait. This one is open. We, we cannot go there. 
<gasps> is that plus? Oh no. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Huh? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual bed. Does it though? Maybe I should. There's someone back there. Mr. Patient, is that you? I don't like his name, so he's going to be Mr. Patient. Is that blood on the floor? That does not look, that does not look good. <gasps> That's blood. It's still fresh. Oh no. Can you fucking hurry up? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, is that the Mr. Patient? Mr. Patient, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. What the hell? Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello. Oh, shh. How? That has to hurt. Now we are the patient. Are we the patient? Beep. 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 Hello? <gasps> Is someone going to die? Are we going to die? No, that's the alarm clock. D -d -d -d. Is that an eye? Good morning. Yeah, I knew that was a alarm clock. What is this? No tasks available. Wait, how do I go back? Okay, of course. Ooh, good. Okay. Hi, Finley. Dr. Krakowski asked me to send you my number. Hello, Miria. Thank you. Here's my number, too. She texted you. She has your number. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Me too. See you tomorrow. Gail Wilson, Finley, I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad is the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days and I'll be back at work. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on our ward right now. Anyway... You just get yourself healthy again. Consider it then. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Who's Carl? Hi, Finley. Here's my... Oh, Jesus. Is everyone first message going to be like, hey, here's my number. Feel free to come at me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time. Our Rotas lineup. Is it Rotas? How, how do you write that? How do you say that in English? Yes, it was fun. Hey, hey. Things got pretty heated though. Ah, that's normal. You'll get used to it. Hey, Finley, how's your head? Hey, Carl, I'm all right. Thanks. Head's still throbbing a bit. How's the word? Sorry, I'm off work so soon after starting. Don't worry, it could happen to anyone. Could it, though? <laughs> Besides, you were only trying to help find Mr. Patient. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself pizza instead. I like this dude. Oh, this is the flower shop person. That's what... My dog is barking outside. I can hear him. Can I? Can... can I? Thank you. Oh, my God. Here, look again. <laughs> he looks so cute. First text, hello, this is my number. <laughs> Why? How's it going? We're keeping you busy. Yeah, definitely. Should calm down soon though. How are things at the store? Why is it so hard to freaking scroll? Demonstrera Delicioso are arguing over who has the prettiest leaves again. Well, Monsteras are pretty pretty. Are pre very pretty. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Apart from that, not much going on. Thanks again for taking me out today. My hangover was really nasty, but the fresh air did me some good. Sure thing. Hey, <laughs> hey. We can do it again when you've got time. I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plants are my job, you know? Sure, let's do it. Did he, did he mistakenly send this wiggly thing? Hope things are better with you. What? What happened? 
box fell on my head, got a nasty cut. Whoa, Finley, you need to be more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of time again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? Um, all right, what is it? A gift, uh, it's a plant, I, I guarantee you. Mm, okay, sounds intriguing. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you. And thanks for the little plenty. I knew it. I'll take good care of it. Regular light, not too much water, and empty the sachet I gave you into the soil three days from now. Crazy you didn't have a neat pl you didn't have any plants until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. I I I can because I killed all the plants I have, so that's why I don't have any plants. And mom oh shit. Okay, I managed. Hey, did you get there, okay? You didn't let us know. Typical. Hi mom. Sorry, the move was pretty hectic. Hope you enjoy Porcupine. We'll come and visit soon. Please get in touch if you need anything. I'll do that. I promise. Thank you, Mom. Ooh. Good luck for your first day at work. You got this. That's a nice mom. Thanks. I'm a little nervous, but really looking forward to it. Hope my ward's nice. And the cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a great doctor. We're very proud of you. Oh. Hi, sweetie. How did it go? Hey. It was really cool, but also exhausting. I was going to unpack a few more boxes, but I think I'll just head straight to bed. Do that. You deserve some downtime. The boxes will still be there tomorrow. Good night. Not hearing you for, from you in ages. Is everything okay? Yeah, mom. Wait, no, that's not it. Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, everything is fine. Just lots going on. Sorry. Works harder than expected. Feels like I don't have time for anything else. That sucks. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it will get better. There's a cat screaming. How are you doing? We're on vacation. Nice and sunny here. Just on our way to the beach. Sounds great. It's nice here too. Definitely fall, but still quite warm. I'm sorry. Started to make a few friends. It's all going pretty well. Fuck. Okay. Okay. That's great, sweetie. People from work? Yeah, Mia and Carl work in my ward. Good to know. We, we saw them their, their text earlier. Now we know they're friends from work. But I've met some other people too. Even went to the woods here with a new friend. That was really nice. Sorry, had no reception all day. That's really great. Knowing you're happy makes me happy too. Ah, hey, sweetheart, back home now. Hope you are doing well and managed to taking break. A break. Yeah, actually, I actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident at work on sick leave for a few days. <gasps> what? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? No, everything's fine. Just a little bump on the head. Nothing serious. I can be there on the next train. That's, that's how moms are like. What do you need? I think there is a D missing there. Do you have someone to do your shopping for you? It's fine, mom. Jeez. I'm an adult. I can take care of myself. Okay, but let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be there right away. Will do. Thanks, mom. Is there another one? Oh, we have a brother. Hey, big brother. Happy birthday. How's things going well? Hey, Finley. Doing just fine. Thanks. Happy birthday. I, I like... These are the texts. They probably text like twice a year. Hey, thanks. At a bar. Lots of people here. Well, okay. Have one for me. Wow. Will you be home for dad's birthday this year? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. That's it. What do we have here? Notes. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job too. But I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. That's nice. Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. I managed to, re to read that name. Wow. He has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There I met some new people from Procupine. Oh, 
I met Pina on my way to work. She, she's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine. And she's my first real contact here. Isn't that cute? Ingrid, today I entered a hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking, snacking and coffee consumption. Aww, that's adorable. Oh my god, look at the doctor. So cool. Dr. Dr. Krakowski is my senior resident. She has no, she heads internal medicine one on the third floor. And I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared. I would be scared of someone that looks like that too. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands on me. On me. I try to live up to her standards, but I don't always succeed. Aw, poor thing. What is this? Help. I, lo I love it. That's a nice help. Now what? Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Yeah, you know, when you dream, you don't really rest because your brain is so active. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Oof. Are you getting up? Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. I wish I had that that much. <gasps> Wait, was that an achievement? I think it was. Oh, there you are, just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. Yeah, on your on my dream, you're very sassy. You've given me quite a restless night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight. There will be trouble. I like that he's talking to his plant. Why does he have to stop like... Woo! Woo! I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked me, my butt, in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I want to know what game that is. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. That chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. That sucks. We've all been there. The hell just happened? Did we just change behind the freaking pillar? That's awesome. What do we have here? I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. There's trial subscriptions for the paper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like King. Wait, you need to read the newspaper to buy a pair of glasses? Ooh, loading. I like how we just walk to the right and we're outside. Do we have access to said map? Oh, hello, hello, no, okay. Oh, hello, no, okay. I wish I had a map. Do we have a map? That would be nice. GPS on my phone. I don't know where I'm going. What if I was supposed to go to the right and I came to the left? What is this place? This this looks a bit dirty. Oh, what is this? Man, that stinks. Either it, there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown. <laughs> okay. Someone seems to have set up set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camp chair. Dear readers. Time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny, I call it chaos, order, life. And you, seeing this note right now, are a part of it. Consider yourself lucky. 
But please, don't sit in my chair. <laughs> I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Who is F? Look like, looks like this is already reserved. What is it? The switch cable? What is the switch cable? The charging? It's cute, right? Look at the art. Look at the art. It's very cute. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, Porcupine is the name of the town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Andrea is saying hi. Hi. Said, she said hi. Oh, boy. Oh, my little boy. Oh. It's kind of nice watching the trains ch chug off into the distance. I like trains. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. I guess I guess this is it. This is the end of town. It's gonna. Well, I like how. I think it's because he's a bird, like we always float on our way down. Isn't that adorable? Let's walk at the same pace as this dude. What is this? Some people have a bakery within walking distance or a grocery store. I have used closed wait. I have a used closed containers. Oh, okay. Different. But just as practical? <laughs> Do you also have used closed containers nearby? It's really hard to walk. I can only run. Where are we? Oh, it's a bike. That bike's been there since I moved in. Was that a very long time ago? So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there, come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Isn't that stealing though? I mean, I guess it's abandoned, but still. Who is this person? Or animal? Is that a dog? He looks cute. Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Does she? Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes, I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. Damn. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. What's wrong with the store? People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. Oh, that's sad. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? I guess. Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wonder, wondering what you have for lunch. Lunch? You really have a uh, an odd routine. I mean, if he wakes up really early, probably he has lunch pretty early too. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. How do I... How do I... Oh, wait. What happened? What is this? There's, is there a new note? Oh, it's Susie. Susie is the only mail carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Poor Susie. Let's continue our adventure to the hospital. Should we take the bus? There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. Oh no! We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyway. Really? We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Oh my god, we have to walk for work. 
Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? That's a waste of money. Okay. What, what does it say? From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. Okay. It's weird what passes from a high street in a small town. <laughs> All I know is that peanut store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old time, the, oh my god, the old, I don't know how to read. The old town lives up to its name at least. Small, crooked, old houses. The town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's, of course. The best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Okay. Let's, let's go, let's go this way. It's actually very pretty. It's so clear. You can see the glow, the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing. A coffee and eating breakfast here like here in the middle of the bridge or whatever this is that would be interesting look there's another bus stop no one cares about the other bus stop oh look it's an old goat Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. Okay, so we have been here a few weeks. So, you're a doctor? Yeah, almost a junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are, are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Witterstein. <laughs> I love the names here. I am Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many, many people come and go. Some were just in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing, you're... The hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have some moments sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see, I see it has my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to wait. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Okay. Why are you barking? Now we have a note for this old. And we don't have a note because what? Oh, there you go. Adele von Witterstein. Graceful, yeah. elegant, eccentric. I met her. Do you mind? I met her this morning at the market. She seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never much cared for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Ooh, is this, this a coffee shop? That's Gilbert, so it's the pub. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternative, really. I'll be back here soon. Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The bandit gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be all right. Yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump 
on your head with a nice cold drink. Just come back anytime, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. I might just take you up on that. He just, you, he'll go and talk with everyone. Everyone and anyone. I like good old Giuliano a lot. He owns Gilbert's, the only bar in Porcupine, as we have said like five times already. I've been there once or twice already and had a reasonably reason, re, reasonably good time. Giuliano once got into an argument with someone called Ross, but I guess that's to be expected when you're the, own, the owner of the bar. Plus, it's actually pretty laid back. Yeah, he, he looks like he would be. Oh, why did we zoom out? Oh, look, it's the fountain, the statue fountain thing. That's the Big Town Fountain. It's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratus. What? The founder of Porcupine, which he is a porcupine and he named the town after the type of animal that he is. Okay. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Oh no. How sad. Isn't it sad when fountains don't? Don't have the water running. I find it very, very sad. It's not even summer. What is that? Oh, is that the hospital symbol? Oh, interesting. The word symbol for a hospital. Did you hear that? That was my chair. What is this? This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked. Why, why would it be up? Why, why, why would it be open? What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies? Is there, is there super secret alien technology? He has a very fertile imagination. Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the greatest questions of the universe. Come on, reveal your secret. I can't believe he's just talking to a truck. Can we go up? Why is there a bike over there? What the hell? Oh, is this the tree? There's a plaque on the tree. I mean, it's not really on the tree, but sure. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he had lost his keys. How do you make it a house and lose keys to the house 40 days later he found them on this very spot ah that is a nice story it <laughs> sounds like something i would do i mean you're not wrong so is that the sign of the hospital yep i knew i was just confirming it but i knew it Ah, and this is where I would leave the bus. If there was any bus. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. Why does he talk to everything? <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. It's hospital. You squeal, we heal. Oh, that's cool. This statue's out here every day. Do, do they put it inside at night? From dawn to dusk, come rain or shower. What? It's never complained. It's a statue. How do you do it? It's made of stone. Regular sleep, probably. <laughs> Balanced meal. Yep. Exercise three times a week. I should do that. Well, a guy can dream. Imagine having a regular sleep. Oh, no. There's water on the floor. Who did that? 
The hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. Can that happen? That's why you should always pay attention to the science, kids. Damn, we finally arrived at work. Where are the stuff on the chairs? Ah, the good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken here ever since I started here. Of course. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog, a chalk dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was even born. Damn. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What? He does have a very uh, big imagination. What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. I, I, I like the changing of clothes behind pillars. It's kind of weird. Oh, look, she, there's Ingrid. Is it Ingrid? Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury's healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened to you, what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Uh, yeah. This might sound a bit complicated. That's not a good start for a theory. But the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So, what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Why? Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aids to define the social and the anthropogic anthropology characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is plots. <laughs> uh, I, I like Ingrid. I like Ingrid though. Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Patient? The old duffer still alive, making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Phew. Okay. I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. You're the boy who lived. Very funny. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. It's steaming. It is steaming. I can see it. And you need to swing your butt over to your ward on the third floor in case, you're t in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. Okay. That's good. Hop to it, then, before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. Please don't say that. I'm scared she might actually do it. You're right. I'll get going. Not before we read what we wrote in the notes about Ingrid. This is happening again. Today, I entered... Wait, no. No. We already saw this. We, we, we read this already. Is it... Was there supposed to be new notes? I'm very confused. To the elevator. Or to the stairs. Or what the hell is that? Wait, where are you going? Th that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk with that thing. I still got your open. Oh. Wait, her mouth was full and now it's empty. What the hell? What are you doing? Where are you going? Hello? 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 Stop running. <gasps> she disappeared. 
I guess that's the exit we, we need to go to our work. Is this the cafeteria thing? Oh, no? Yes? This is the cafeteria. But I don't have time for breakfast right now. I already feel Dr. Krakowski's icy breath on my neck. Then again? What? What? Nah, better not risk it. I didn't have breakfast though. How can you go work without breakfast? Use the elevator or walk. Use the elevator. Well, we use the elevator. But it's three floors. Okay. Which way is it now? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, coffee. Okay, not this way. Dun, 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 uh, uh, was that the, the, the dude friend? The nurse? Oh, oh god. Look at her face. Ah, uh, finally. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what? Wait, what? I thought we were late. I'm early? Really? Of course not. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I love it. Why? Why would you do that? Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Well. It actually didn't. Um, yes, I'm sorry. I, the bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Kakowski. It is not too much trouble. We'll start our rounds in room 301. Were they waiting 30 minutes to start doing whatever we have to do for me? Dun, dun, dun. Who's that? So, here's Mr. Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, Miss Martin. A woman after my own heart. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with some pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Uh, me? Well, come on, spit it out. Um, yes, ulcer, uh, stomach ulcer, is, is that a question or your answer? What? Answer. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there is no indication of gastritis, or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. What about this dude? Is he just chilling? And we need to check him up. Walk faster. Let them. Well, Larissa, how are you today? How are we? Quite okay. The doc, the what? Doctorsky. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for me? Like last night. That's right. Careful. Is he breathing? Is he attempting to breathe? Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's he doing? How's he doing? How's he going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well... I was done at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. 
I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super... We don't need your whole life story, dude. He has green wheel. Oh my god, can you stop? I've heard other skaters scratch their board on purpose to make it look cool. I don't get that. My board has a big... Can we move on? Like, why are you here? Did you get hurt? Very good, but... What were you doing? What were you all doing down at school? Ah. Well, um... It was like this. My buddy Crystal sold some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said, if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. Which, why would you say that? It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I, I didn't want to be a chicken, you know. I was still out of breath from practicing. We, he lit a cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get hair. Oh, no. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So, yeah, that's it, really. Damn. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Uh, I know, Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. They're trying to answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Asthma? It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't, don't overexert yourself. You got it, Doc. Okay, last stop for today is room P30. What the hell is P33? Oh, and finally, you already know this patient. It's Mr. Patient. I assume the name rings a bell. Ah, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. The Mr. Patient is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head his isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Is she telling me to not let any more boxes drop on his head? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, the peas are on this side. How interesting. Here we go. One, two, three, go. We have to be the last one to go in. Oh, who's that? Um, hello? Everything will be just fine. This matter is very important to me and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krakowski. Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hydrich. Hydrich? Hydrich? To what do we own the honor? Why, Mr. Patient, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. Have you really? Do, do you want to get checked in? The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet. Wait, is that a question? Ready to throw yourself back into the fray? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Heinrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. 
Nobody at St. Ursula is this. St. Ursula itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I have arranged for Mr. Patient to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there, around the clock. Oh, he's leaving us. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and access Mr. Patient's condition later today? My well, later today. <clears throat> If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. One, one time is enough. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of, your all of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong key. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Bye. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Patient. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? No, you did not. I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Patient. Well, what are you doing here then? I, I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dresses. What? <laughs> oh man, old people. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay then, go ahead. Finley. Mm, yeah? Mr... Miss, Mr. Patient suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. Is that a word? He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be able? Would you be so kind as to change Mr. Patient's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressing right now? You can ask Mr. Patient if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. And this doctor is the sassiest thing ever. It can't be any worse than you. Damn. All right, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Patient. I'm very pleased to see you. Mm, do I know you? Yeah, maybe. There was an accident. Do you remember? I, I want lasagna today. But hold this. Wait, does lasagna usually take salad? I can't stand all those leaves, uh, Mr. Patient. Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring some of the end cake? <laughs> all this stress has been hard on Mr. Patient. I'll let him rest and do your job. I, I just wanted to... Uh, okay. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on screen to administer treatment. Make sure you press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quickly and oh my god, I can't read. Be as quick as possible. Don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Ooh. A. B. C. I don't know where the keys are. Look at that! The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your reading. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That'll be nice, Miss 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 Krakowski. Doctor. 
No, no, I'm not a dog. <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh dear. Okay, we're done. Yeah, finally. Come with me and I'll give you a task for today's shift. Uh. Oh, look, and now he's walking perfectly normal. Why can't he just walk perfectly normal everywhere? Where are we going? Do 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 do. Where's she going? She left us. Doctor, she left us. There you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yeah, all good. I'm back. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's task in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. <laughs> nice. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. But Heidrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have used this app now. The data protection risk benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. How oh, nice. Downloading today's schedule. Schedule updated. 301, 303, 304. All right. All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you completed today's tasks and make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of the shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Try to do try to make an effort. All right, let's go. 301. 301 medicine. So we're giving someone some medicine. Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere else. Next time, wait, what? Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. She's just very stressed, isn't she? Had it for years. Yes, a stomach, stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter oh and my job got and my job's got me pulling my hair out i feel ya i'm very sorry to hear that miss martin do you think the ulcer is stress related mm, no i don't think so in fact you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress oh really it's true that stress isn't something wait where's the something i'm i'm making the words up now it's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to us so early. That's good. Last night's test showed that you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think it will help. All right, let's see then. Prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, assign the prescription. How interesting. So, so we need to... I'm confused. How do I take it out? How do I take it out? No. How? How? What? How? Help. How do I remove medication? It just goes up. It doesn't go down. How does it go down? 
Hello? Oh, wait. The cursor that I cannot see. It, it, I can, I can, oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, why can't I see the cursor? Hello? Hello? It was here somewhere, and now it isn't. What if I alt tab, and then alt tab back in? Will it show? Dun dun dun. No, it does not. It's totally gone now. Wait. I lost it. God damn it. I lost it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh my god. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Nice. Shit. I almost got it. Okay. No. No. Okay. So, we want one of these. Maybe. Maybe not. This. This? Is this okay? I think this is okay. Do you guys think this is okay? <gasps> we got an A! Is that an S? Is the A the best we can get? Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. It's not night, but yeah, sure. Oh, here we are, three or three. Oh, it's the asthma boy. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, Doctor. I'd like you, I'd like to listen to your lungs. Do you mean. You want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so. But don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is it is a bit cold most of the time. But it will only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? And he's like, nope. <laughs> Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Take up thy stethoscope. Jumping arts, rattling lungs, press the button shot on screen at the right time. Wait, at the right moment. Arrow keys. Hold WASD when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Huh? Okay, let's just try it, I guess. What? Oh, do, we, do I have to use both arrows? And the, I can't. I don't have both. <laughs> what do you mean? How did I fail everything and got a C? So, I still have the question. Do I have to do the arrows? And the letters at the same time? 
That was only cold for a second. Hehe. <laughs> what did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the, the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. Uh, actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Should we try to explain to a kid what's happening? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, don't worry. It could be asthma, but we are running some more tests. And if it is asthma, there's nothing to be afraid of. Promise? There's a mosquito on my screen. I promise. Okay. Try to make us, yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow soon, okay? Wait, what? What did I say? What, what was written there? Am I making up stuff? Don't you love the... the cat looking thing on the sign it's adorable oh wait it's here hello good morning miss helming you've just had thyroid surgery right how are you today i'm very thirsty talking and swallowing are difficult i mean yeah i imagine that's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery. But once the wound has healed a bit, a, a bit and the swelling has gone down, it will be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to have to spend the latest good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. Sutures? 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 You. I. Treatment complete. You got an A! Hello! Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. We are done! Woo! Do we go and talk with the Dr. Krakowski now? Dr. Krakowski! All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. <laughs> we only got a B. Everything's in order here. Perhaps the knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay, I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door is on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again? As long as the stairs don't collapse under me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep your fingers crossed. Up you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Halid. Got it. We got this. Is, is, are the stairs this way? Maybe the stairs aren't this way. I don't remember. Nope. Oh, can we go to the bathroom? The ward bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whimpering noises coming from the stall. I've been told that's completely normal. I don't think that should be normal. But if you say so, who am I to say otherwise? Da, 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 da. Stairs. Oh my god, they were right next to us. Which is amazing. Oh, oh okay. 
There you go. Down we 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 go. More stairs. Oh, wait, is it here? No. No! I didn't want to use the elevator. I miss click. Oh my god, we're back on the third floor. God damn it. Do not go in the elevator. Not elevator. That doesn't look very nice. Is this the place? Oh, this is the archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper. If the smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. That does not sound. Lock. Hello. See that red light above the door? Uh, that uh, huh? Yeah, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here. You see the red light, don't you? Yeah, I, I see the red light. Red light usually means I'm something that's very busy. Prohibited. Negative. No access. Or simply no. But, 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 but I need the, the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the... Oh my god, can you stop shaking the text? Do you want to see a magic trick? Uh, is it the red light turning green? Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. See, I knew it. But, uh, wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> and I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see the green light? <laughs> I don't like this person. Hello? 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 Oh, there he is. All right, here I am. Whoa! What are you doing here? I was outside the door just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The, the light was a great. Yes, it was great. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked for. Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. So why are you wasting time? I'm okay. Follow me. I think I have the results around here somewhere. Okay. Are they here? Now, where were we? Yes, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves times when matching them with the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? The day becomes much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. I mean, it's, it's a good system, I guess. It cuts down on sorting and work too and now you can benefit from the fruits of my diligence well if that's all oh god it's gonna break it i knew it i knew it was gonna break it. oh no oh horror what a mishap that bang made my heart jump my whole system i let me just put things right i'll, I'll be right back uh, oh whoa can i help what, what do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. What? What? Oh, okay. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's easy as pie. 
Each simple as the sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way up. You need to turn the samples round until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single color square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples fell out slot. It's quite simple, is it? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, Q and E to rotate. The flask is in the correct position when all of the when the colors of all four segments match with the one. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I got it. Where is their pink? Here? That's not it. There's no more pink. Oh my god, do we have to move all of them? Are these? That's a lot. I don't think these ones sh should be... These ones have to be in the corners. Okay, then. Can we move? Okay, we cannot move... We can only move those. So. Oh! Aha! 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 We're doing something. We are getting there. Okay, I think I got this. Now this one goes here. Nice. And this one... Oh, do they have the same color? <gasps> we did it! Okay. I think it was more complicated explaining it than actually doing it. You see, fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I had better get back to my work. Um, what about the results? Hello, Dr. Halil? Was there something else, dear doctor? The, the results? Oh, right, 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 doctor. Freak out. Wait, wait. Ah. <laughs> you know, I always have to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. <laughs> Please don't drop the things again. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, you know. God. What a complicated person. Da, 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 da.
I mean, going down the stairs is one thing, going up the stairs, right? I have the thing. Here are your blood results. And why did it take so long? Did the bus, did the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Alil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yeah, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here tending to the patients on the third floor? No, he does. Because that is not his job. Since Herschel is a finely tuned machine, if one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more to, up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your treatments as you showed today. Got it. Have a nice evening. Is it evening already? <laughs> we didn't eat anything all day. Do we not eat? Are we that type of animals? Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 Do we say goodbye? No, she's on the phone. You do not interrupt people when you're on the phone. It is night time. Wow, it's so dark. Oh my god, what a waste of water. See? Freaking statue is still there. Can we take the bus this time? I'm not even trying. The bus won't come by. <laughs> Will I ever see it again? What's that? Hello? This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. Nice chat. And this is still here. Let's not talk about it. Still not working. Poor thing. Oh, hello. Oh, he oh, who is this person? What do you want, Pipsqueak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Oh, jeez, sorry. Hey, I know you. You're the, the, the hospital gang? One, one of that little busybody pal. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Okay, jeez, dude. I'm okay. So dark, Jesus. Are there no, not not that many lamps here? There's no one out. 
Is everyone sleeping already? Where was my Osri? Oh, wait, it's here. I can't wait to just flop into bed. Off to bed. I want to be on form tomorrow. I think I'll just get a little note we're going to bed. Good night, world. Huh? What? <laughs> Good, 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 Mark, Nate, what the, f what the hell is he doing? I'm alert, I'm up for it, I can't do anything, I'm on top of the world. Can you imagine waking up like that? That's what I would say right now. If I were the type of guy who cheers himself on the, on, in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that type of guy, and luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed in time. On time, sorry. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take a band aid, a band -aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. <laughs> I, like, I like the way he is like measuring his accomplishments. Anyway, guys, I think we are going to end it here for today. I am very hungry and I need to go get some food. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot, but also it's a lot of talking and I, I need to stop. <laughs> um, thank you for coming with me in this adventure. It is going very well and I will be continuing uh, this game because it is interesting. I love the mini games. They're very fun. The the one that I have to use the the W A S T and the arrows. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do that, but we're we're gonna give it another go tomorrow if we have to do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here today, and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Okay, bye.